love you. English. He's English. And what do you do there? What do you do in England? Um, I have a tool franchise. I sell some of your tools, actually. I sell Mac to garages, Mac tools. Very good. Give me a deal. Uh, <laughs> and yourself, darling, what do you do? Nothing. Nothing? You just... I just sing and then sing. You see, that's, you know, that... I'm you... singer and then so. Yeah, but I they... play music and that's what I'm doing. That's wonderful. Pop with dogs. And I guess you guys are... are... I'm married or you yeah. We're thinking about it, you know, we're, we're working what? towards it. Are you working to, oh I, my God. I'm Uncle Sam, I can perform marriages. <laughs> I can do that right now. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> you How long have you been together? How long Eleven you, years. Eleven That's years and he's, still, and he's still crawfishing on you. Oh. It's, it's, no, no, we are okay how it is. Yeah, I think you guys make a great know. couple the way yeah. you are, fine. We don't need paper. Chicken yeah. shit. But, uh, you know. <laughs> yeah. So what part, of, what part of London do you live? Or what part of England do you live? Oh, we live um, two, two hours from London. Yeah, on the Lincoln. east coast, a um, city called Lincoln. Okay. Uh, the, um, the immigration deal. Is it affecting you where you live? Mm, it doesn't affect me. It, um, no. Not yet. No. That was part it of our Brexit. You? That was part of our Brexit thing. Where it was the decision to leave the European Union. That's why Union. they want to leave because um, I think it's. But it's. Uh, it's affects it's, you. It's, you know, it's, an, it's an issue in every country. It's not issue. Indeed, we have it with the Latin Americans here. Uh, well, our open borders. How, how do you? I, I mean, you're very political. How do you feel about your current? Leadership. I don't like any politician. No, it's, it's, I can see why you hang around. They need wise people, not clever people. And are you familiar any... with Tommy Robinson? Huh? Tommy Robinson, are you familiar with him? <sighs> Surprises me. Because he's been the focus of some of the biggest protests in modern English history. Okay. Tommy Robinson is a man that grew up in, of course, in the UK, uh, working class, yeah. right, who started watching his neighborhood get changed from the Muslim invasion coming in, taking yeah. over his... Oh, it's the one they, it was not too long ago they put him in, it's, I, I just, yeah. I know him, yeah, I know, he's, he, they put him in jail now. Yeah. Yes, I know him. Are you yeah. familiar with what happened yeah. to him? I know now. Yeah. When, you, when you say that, it's not, it was not too long ago. It was, I know he knew for yeah, years. He's been in now for about a trouble. month. Yeah, he was in trouble a few months. Yeah. For talking yeah. on the street like I'm talking yeah. on the street. Yes, yes, yes. How do you feel about that? It's bullshit. Controlling mouth. It's like communism. It's like fascism. It's like socialism. It's controlling mouth. See, you were originally from Czech, right? Yeah, I grew up in communist, so I know it's the same story. The same story, different name. Everywhere, the same story. Control people, the same. You can say what you want, I can smell your bullshit. If you don't marry her, I will. <laughs> Strong talking is the same at breakfast table, the same when you're going to put the garbage out, so it's not... <laughs> uh -huh. uh, okay, here, yeah, let me give you guys something. This is get anywhere in the world, okay? This is a get out of jail free card from Hillary Clinton. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, she, wants, she is the master. Yeah. She is the master. But I would Thank urge you. you to go ahead and raise some noise about Tommy Robinson, get to know what's going on there. And because it's like, I, the last I checked, there were over a half million signatures yeah, to get him out of jail. Yeah. And they put him in a Muslim uh, prison, uh, you know, mostly Muslim populated prison. That's a death sentence. So, you know. It's wrong. It, yeah. It, it, it only, it only they, stops. You know, they criticize the Russians, what they do with people, what speak to against, but they do the same. The yeah, same but it's, it's time, you do it, now's the time to speak up. You don't wait until they fully take over. No. I mean, now's when we can actually I still do it. I, I always say what I think by the world, okay? It's the most people. But people are covered. It's I know that people are too far. The, the correct things. People are scared. Come the other way. People are too scared. Yeah, but there is a pushback. I mean, they're. The, Absolutely. I mean, the day after they throw him in jail, they stormed. Uh, 
the, you know, the, where the hell they have to lock them up there, Downing Street. You know, was that it? Yeah, yeah but I read about that guy, but they're very hiding that story. And I, I don't read on English news, I read on Czech news. Well, actually, the English government put out a dictate saying that the reporters here could not report on it. Yeah, I read on Czech news, yeah. Yeah. Nah. Again. I know, we, you can talk about this millions of, you can talk and talk and talk and talk, but what we really need is wise people in politics. We don't have Well, let's say, you know, then you should run. Oh, I will have to shoot them first all. Well, uh, then, then you got my vote right now <laughs> then. <I'm> <laughs> <laughs> No, I wouldn't shoot them. Of course not. You'd give them a you'd give them a fair trial first. Job. Then yeah. you'd shoot them. Yeah. No, and I, I, no, I wouldn't. I give them proper job. Oh yeah, like um, okay, good for God bless you. She's got, she's got a good Christian heart. She's better than me. My husband's from Liverpool. So, yeah, he's afraid to get his picture taken with Trump because he goes, none of my friends like him, so I can't get a picture of him. I go, he's my president. You can get a picture of him. It's okay. Uh, don't be afraid of anything. No. Let me put it this way. The people that have come down on you aren't your friends. Yeah. You know? You make up your own mind. You don't let your friends make it up for you. Are you familiar <clears throat> with a man named Tommy Robinson? I am, yes. What are your thoughts on Tommy Robinson? Tommy Robinson is portrays to be one thing and actually isn't. Mm. He's not better. He's, he's do you think done, he's, jumps on the bandwagon. He doesn't. He doesn't portray what we all think and what we want. Really. He seems to have a pretty big following, though. Yeah, by idiots, really. Idiots. Yeah. There's a lot of, a lot of idiots. Yeah. Like me, but is what he's projecting, is whatever you want to call it, a bandwagon. I'm seeing it as, as I followed him quite closely. Right, I mean, okay. Mainly because he pretty much does what I do. He goes on Against the street. immigration and stuff like that? Illegal immigration and, and immigration that comes in to not help but destroy. Yeah. I mean, there's a difference. I oh, mean, yeah. you know, I mean, bringing people into your country that are going to help would be one thing. Bringing people in there, you're going to form rape gangs, uh, well, you know. And if it was just that that he stood for, I'd turn around and say, I agree with you. But there's a, the people, that, that court case that he's just followed with the Rotherham gang, the sex offenders that he's just been, that he was done for standing outside the courtroom, yeah? Yeah. He'd already been previously, that he, he, everyone portrayed it as him. He went back to jail without any. Any, you know, press or anything they put him in. But he's already been done. He was in violation of um, standing in well, the Well, excuse me, but what is violating about reporting on people that are destroying your country? No, no, what no. That's violates not, that's anything not what he violated. That? He violated the fact that um, he, he'd done something offensively in the court. It wasn't anything to do with the case. But he was on the street in this case. Um, yeah, but on this case he was. So why, why would he be thrown in jail for reporting from the street? Because and he why would not the, to go anywhere near the courtroom? That's why. So you're in favor of restricting free speech to the point nope. where the government, I love free speech. Where, where well, you apparently you are, because the government uh, also said you're restricted for me even reporting about it. They made it a class D violation. In other words, if even if a reporter reported on it, they could go to jail. So. What you're saying that it's okay for a man to report off the street, on the street, and I don't care what he's done. He's on the street talking about a case that it's already been reported on. He was just rereading, you know, from a, from other reports on the street. And then two hours after that, he's in jail for 13 months, and now he's been put in a prison that's 71% Muslim, where that's pretty much a death sentence for him. And you're okay with a guy... Yeah, but you hadn't seen what he'd done before. I've seen and, a lot of what he's done. As I told you, I've been responsible. Yeah. I followed him closely. Yeah. When he had the other group, the England group as well, and there wasn't the fact there's a lot of people in Liverpool and in England who were worse rapists than them people that he was outside of. And I didn't see him standing out of court making but sure they got done. They weren't giving anything to society. They were raping our kids, but he wasn't there then. And that's what I've got a problem with Tommy Robinson. If you want to stand for the right for your country, you stand for the right of everybody in there that were people outside that courtroom were doing exactly what he did that didn't get 
thrown in jail. Yeah, but he was in violation. They went. Again, violation of reporting oh, on something, something that on should be reported yeah, on. But if you, if, all right, so, okay, so you're saying I mean, that they, right. they went ahead. Yeah. The government themselves but have, you, you know, have argue that. You concocted. You shouldn't have got caught in the first place, right? They but concocted. It, because the man's telling the truth about yeah. what his government's it's doing. It doesn't matter whether he's telling the truth, right? It's it doesn't done. matter whether he's telling the truth, right? He went to court. He got fined. He got told that if he was outside the court. So it's okay right. for an authoritarian no, no. government but, to drum up charges on yeah. you, fine you. Right. That makes you a bad right. person. No, but, hang on, so if he was to get away with it after violating, that means anybody else could come get forward away and get away what, with the lady? violation. Get away with what, lady? What's wrong with reporting on Muslims? The court did it, but the court had done it, right? The court said, you go out there again, you're going to jail, right? So you're so, in favor of an authoritarian I'm in government. I'm favor of standing by the law, because... Of an authoritarian government. But, if he didn't stand by that law, then somebody else would have been able to go. Well, tell me. Oh, Robinson someone else out. is going to stand someone on the street and report. You want them thrown in jail too? Yeah. And the press not be able to yeah. talk about them. Lady, you're an authoritarian and you're disgusting. <laughs> but you're a fellow of the <laughs> and you think it's funny? I find you to be sick. No, I, I stand with the right of the country. Thank you very much. Oh, and you're a favor of authoritarian bullshit too? Or you want to speak to me? Or are you just going to say something and walk away? Are you an intellectual coward? At least you had the balls to speak to me. You, sir, just a coward. And you're in London? Yeah, you live yeah. in London? Yeah. And how long have you been there forever and ever? Or how long? All yeah, oh, your life? Yeah, it's wonderful. Um, a through lot luck, of... I'm lucky to be there. It's, good. it's a great city. I beg your pardon? London's a great city. So I love it. Well, I, I get mixed things. I mean, I talk to a lot of people out here from England, the UK, all over, but, you know, from all But it seems like there's two uh, factions there. I mean, there there's the London Ston. Yeah. You know, who people who like the mayor, and then there's the, the you know, the other group that says, well, wait a second, what's going on here with my country? Uh, which brings up Tommy Robinson. I'm sure you're familiar with Tommy Robinson. I've just become familiar with him. Yeah. 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 The past month was on YouTube, and a friend put up a picture, and I wanted to understand his point of view. It's interesting. It's an interesting conversation, but I've heard both sides of the fence. Indeed. I don't. I don't. As no, I don't tend to subscribe, not like I'm a liberal person, but I think the way in which certain people get their message across can come across wrong to the wrong group of people, really. Yeah, but... Um, Everyone's entitled to an opinion at the same time. So. Yes, indeed. I mean, that, I mean I, that's why I'm out here. Thank you for recognizing it. Yeah. I mean, I've been following Tommy Robinson for a long time because he primarily does what I do, but to a, a different extent. Yeah. And that he goes on the street and reports what's happening. Yeah. So he bypasses the... The, yeah, yeah. You know, these guys that are lying to us all the time anyway. The powers that be, of course, do not want truth. They don't want us talking. They don't want us getting along. They don't want us tell it, finding out that they're the ones screwing us. Yeah, yeah of course. Yeah. So when anybody goes out on the street and starts telling the truth and gaining the following, they attack that person. Mm. And they've attacked on it. Robert told them. They've made up charges. Well, he, broke, he broke a cord, though, right? Well, the thing is... is it was affecting the trial that was going to then take place. Well, again, the thing is, broke the cord of what... Who's making that rule? In other words, it's the we're just talking about the authoritarians who do not want the truth come out that they're screwing us. Mm. So if you go out there saying these people are screwing us, of course, and yeah, they make course. up laws, yeah. and then you use those laws to justify... Yeah the repression of the yeah, truth yeah, of course, yeah. you can't use the authoritarian as a justification that's there. Right, yeah. and that's what's happened here is that not only that he was just reporting on something that had already been published he was reading from published reports so it's not like he was influencing anything the stuff was already out in the public yeah and he wasn't the only one on the sidewalk there reporting on it. Mm -hmm. So why weren't the others arrested? Why just him? And then why in a... He's, he's like the main, main figure. Oh yeah, he's the one that's drawing most of the yeah. attention right yeah. now. But the the idea, of, and it, I mean, England is, I mean, of the birth of a lot of our Western laws and what, you know, we 
we perceive as our freedoms. I mean, they gave us, you know, the Magna Carta, and they, yeah, yeah. I mean, all these different things came from England. Yeah. You have the tradition of the town square. You know, that's where free speech. I mean, it's England, and to have free speech repressed where you can't even go out on the street and report on something that's happening in a courtroom about, you know, and then in, a, in two hours time, you're taken off the street and then without a lawyer, without, you're, you're put in jail for 13 months. And then the, here's the kicker, here's what really, I think inflamed the world with this, was the fact that the government put a Class D registration on even reporting about this. In other words, it became a national security issue. So you couldn't even report about it in England. You'd, get, you'd go to jail. You couldn't tweet about it. You would get a visit from the police. I mean, does that even... It has to be called into question. I'm, I'm definitely for truths. Of course it wouldn't be, unless you're yeah, a tyrant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But I would, but you know, as a Londoner, as a person, I'm sure loves your country. I would, I, I would say, you know, look into what this man's doing and sign the petition to get him out. Yeah. Because it, it's just not fair. I mean, there you go. so you got the 9/11 thing. Have you ever looked into that? We've had this conversation in the car on the way to. Y'all could talk for hours. On the way to Memphis. Yes, it is. Yeah. And um, I, I've researched high and low in this the world of. And what what, is what your... can be seen as conspiracy, what can be seen yeah. wisdom and hermeticism, all everything. And this is something that happened in my day and age that I found very, very interesting. Yeah, wonderful. What are your thoughts on I that? Because I first came to America six months after that, to, really? to New York. Uh-huh. So as a young teenager, I felt, whoa, this is, this is the city, like, this is it. Like, it, was, it always had my attention. And what was your impression then and what is your impression now? It's a tragic set of circumstances that have led to even more tragic, tragic circumstances in the Middle East. That many innocent lives have been lost in Absolutely. the process of trying to get things to make a world a better, safer place. Well, I don't know. And a lot of money is coming. But who do you think actually so. perpetrated the attack? Huh? Foreign government. I, I think there's a man called Aaron Russo. I watched his videos on YouTube, yeah. and he's. He, how how everything he said and how he said it, it seems like a very his credentials, his words, yeah. sincerity, and I think that why would he how and why would he just make this up and put his life in risk and other people who have done some other work? Yeah. Has he not been off? Yeah, he was gone. Somewhere? He was gone. He was gone after not long after doing yeah. that last video message. He was gone. Yeah. Was he gone. died. Uh, yeah. There are probably a hundred videos on 9/11. I probably watched documentaries. I probably watched half of them. a lot of nonsense them. out there. And. Um, all of them add a little bit too. I think the best one, if you want to delve into this if you're interested, that I've watched, it's a long one, but it gets into explicit detail. It's called Core of Corruption. Okay. Core of Corruption. It's easy to remember. Think of an apple. Core of Corruption. Yeah. Um, it goes into detail, follows the money. Building that got insured before it went down. Yeah. The, the schools that didn't exist that these well, you know guys supposed the, to go. the attorney that was gonna uh, Hillary and all the, the oh, yeah, in court yeah, he was yeah. killed the day before um, yeah. he died the day before the narrative like, gets on. controlled and yeah all that, yeah the core of corruption follow you know connects all these dots where well, these yeah. things aren't you can't have this many coincidences. Yeah. It has to get into something else, you know. Well, thank you. Well, thank you very much for your input. Check out Tommy Robinson. Sign the petition. Here's a get-out-of-jail-free card from Hillary Clinton for you. This is good for any crime in the world. Thank you.